Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I have been inundated with vintage cameras. I've made a um, collection video uh, here recently and I got two new cameras uh, in my collection. I can't remember if I made it, if this was in the last video, but because I just now got my Forcerella film developed through this camera, I thought I'd put it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we're going to start off with my display camera. I call this a display camera because I have no clue if I can get it to work. Um, it, the battery that it uses is no longer being produced, and I don't, and I don't know where you would go to get it converted to take um, a standard battery. And I don't even know where you can get film for it. Now I do know that there are still people who shoot on these. This is a Polaroid 250 Land camera. Uh, this pops off. You can take this flap off if you want or you can shoot with it on. And what you do is you press up on this arrow, pull the, it out, it has the bellows on it. And then you turn that up. And I think this is technically a range finder camera. And um, if you want to shoot, uh, you know, other than focusing and stuff, you cock it, then you press the shuttle and it shoots a picture. Then you have your film right here that you rip out and it instantly develops like any old Polaroid would. And that's it. That's the camera. It's pretty cool looking, but I don't know if it will function or how to get it to function. So I'm not going to put too much energy in it. The bellow is kind of broken right here. So um, it's going to be a display camera for me. And I thought I'd share that with you. And um, there was a... Uh, I don't know if it'll focus, but it says to press right here to close. So, um, you press that down and put the viewfinder down, and there was the camera. Now, the camera that I'm really excited about because I just got my film developed for it, uh, they have it. I don't got any prints, but I downloaded them offline, which is a thing. Um, this is the Kodak Browning Hawkeye. Now the Browning line has been in um, uh, Kodak since the 1900s. I don't think they still have the Browning line as of now. Uh, at least up until the um, 60s or 70s I think. But um, anyways, uh, the Browning started off as the first point and shoot camera for the common man. Or woman or child. And um, um, they, they started off being made out of cardboard and paper and they had viewfinders and um, it was a very basic camera and you take pictures and the slogan was uh, you push the button and we do the rest and uh, then and they cost a buck uh, that it made it accessible for the common person to take uh, to do photography and take pictures and record their life um, then they started being made out of uh, final materials being upgraded, so they went from one dollar to two dollars to six dollars. They started being made in um, from metal and plastic. This is Bakelite, uh, which is uh, old plastic, uh, and uh, um, this one is um, probably my oldest camera I own as of right now. Uh, I think this one was made in the 60s. This one, um, do the level right here, according to the date code, uh, right there, mine actually spells the world of cars, but they use the uh, world of camerosity, and each letter uh, corresponds with a number, and mine was made in the November, December time period of uh, 57. So this is my oldest camera. And you can see it says it takes 620 film, and somewhere else on here, I don't think it'll focus, uh, it says it will not take 120, uh, which is interesting because Kodak um, adopted or came out with 620 film, so you would be forced to use their film. And they didn't want you, they, you know, it's a proprietary film, but it's the exact same film as 120, it's just as on a different, on a smaller spool. 120 film is on a bigger spool. So what I did to solve this problem, I had my um, 620 take-up spool um, right here, and then I trimmed my um, uh, 120 spool, and um, it fits right here, and I was able to use it to take pictures. 
so um, anyways um, um, by the way if you want to look at how this camera works you just press the button and it lets in a little bit of light and then you have this bulb mode you push that up and then you can do longer exposures but um, it's a very basic camera it has a um, viewfinder uh, waist level viewfinder and um, I plan on getting it serviced and custom painted at some point I'll show you the picture of the custom paint job I want right here and uh, the rest of the videos is or the rest of the video I think is going to be a slideshow of um, some of the photos that I took taken with this camera. The photos didn't turn out too well. This camera requires a lot of uh, sunlight to take good pictures. I was using pretty cheap film. Also, um, I bought a, a vintage. Uh, oh, it's upside down. A vintage um, lens close-up lens for this camera. This is the original box. Um, these are relatively cheap and it comes with a lens for taking portraits. I thought I'd go ahead and add that to the collection as well. And um, so um, yeah, uh, I was really excited about this camera in particular. Um, I haven't developed my film for my um, uh, pinhole, or I, I attempted to um, develop my film for my pinhole and one of my Holgas, and I did it through uh, Walgreens, and Walgreens sent the film out to be developed. And then when I tried to get this film developed, the manager said, "Hey, we don't sort, we don't do that film. We only do 35 millimeter." So I don't know what's going to happen with those other rolls of film that I took. So I'm probably never going to see those again. So I have to reshoot with my Holgas and. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but um, at least um, I didn't spend too much money on it. I didn't have to pay ahead of time to get those uh, to send those uh, rolls of film off. But yeah, so uh, this is my display camera. This is my third toy camera, and um, they they even have a um, international um, uh, brownie day where uh, people, hobbyists, enthusiasts, uh, take their brownie cameras. And they take pictures and then they upload them. It's actually a brownie month, I think it's in February, but they uh, take pictures with their uh, Kodak brownies um, and upload them. And it's just kind of a, um, it, there's no contest, it's just to kind of share the hobby. And I thought that was pretty cool and I signed up for it. Um, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm not quite out yet, but I'm going to add the photos into the video. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out. Unfortunately, a lot of these photos didn't turn out quite as well as I'd like. Uh, I used a very cheap film, and this camera requires a lot of sunlight or an external flash. But I, was, I had a lot of fun using it, and hopefully with my next shoot, I'll use a, a nice little film and have bridal sunlight, and the pictures will turn out. I especially like this one of the dog. And... Um, so that's it. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.